on a busy road just north of the Sydney Harbour Bridge, behind a low fence, is a typical 1920s home. But behind this family home is a garden less typical. In fact, it's a tropical style garden that feels a world away from the suburbs, more like Koh Samui than Sydney. Meet the couple responsible for this lush oasis, Joy Karma and John Fowler. What do you love about tropical plants? Oh, it, uh, it reminds me a little bit of Thailand. We lived in Thailand for some time and I just liked the atmosphere there, the gardens, and I try to sort of recreate something like that. I just like that tropical, relaxed, like a resort green style. outlook. Re resort style, that's the word I was looking for, yeah. It's making you feel relaxed, like a therapy for your your mind, your body, you know. We're you a good time. We're a good time. I really like this backyard. The deep garden beds are crammed with lush foliage, colours and textures. And while it features a large range of beautiful ferns, the real showstoppers are in the underplantings of coleus. So you've really grown a fascination with coleus. I have Costa for the simple reason they look great. There's so many different varieties and they're so easy to grow from cuttings or from seed. While John has a love of coleus, Joy has developed a passion for succulents. Literally hundreds of succulents. So this looks like it's your own little succulent factory. <laughs> when they have loose leaf or something like that, I just put it in. Yeah. I don't want to throw because they grow the baby. You can see the baby growing. Yeah. No need to fertilize, just put the soils and they're growing. I really like the way you see the world. Like this this is a cork, a champagne cork. Yes. And you've drilled a hole in it and turned it into a it planter. Did. Yes. You know what? Everything recycle. No need to just throw in the bin. You can give to the kids. It's so cute and you can look at all the time. That one, my favorite. This one is a handmade. And so that's been very nice and unique. This one captured my attention. What came first, the whisk or the eggshell? Uh, usually, you know, the chicken and egg, I think, I don't know, the egg or chicken, <laughs> I don't know. But this one should be the egg first. And uh, when I have the eggs, and I put in the... <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> yes. Yeah. An old glass. Yeah, old wine glass. See, it just makes the colour. Whatever you can create, you put in your mind, you can do everything. The succulent can grow any in conditions, but if you had put a little bit of your heart in, they grow beautiful, nice, smile at you, you smile to them, that's it. With so much propagating, planting and gardening going on here, it's hard to imagine that this couple has time to do anything else. But that's where you're wrong. Have a look at what's going on here. Joy, this is incredible artwork. Where did this all begin? Our beginning is, you know, from love and from when I see somewhere, like when they do the fruit carving, I want to learn. And so I just practicing by myself about 14 years, right now probably 14 or 15 years. But the geometry yeah, yeah. here is perfect. I mean, your eye for detail to get this absolutely stunning pattern. This looks like a sticker. Oh, I don't think so, Consta. I tell you, just, can you pick one out for me if you yeah. think it's a sticker? <laughs> I don't think so. You know what? It's very hard, very fine artwork. We have to make all cover with Australia and Tasmania on the bottom. Yeah, Tino would be very <laughs> happy about that. As, yeah, we still got some there. <laughs> and there's Tasmania, so so you know there can't be any complaints here. You're looking after no, no, look every after Australian. Ev yes, everyone. <laughs> and then over here on the pumpkin, you've created like little Christmas trees. Yeah, you know, cause that 
You can see this Jap pumpkin, they had like a snowflake outside. This one good for Christmas time. Looking at what you do here, do you think I have potential? Could I be a student? If your pension's good enough and you concentrate to do the thing, it's not too rushed, it's gonna be okay. Okay, Costa, start from kiwi fruit because the skin nice and soft. And when you finish, this one gonna be the result you're gonna get. I'm gonna do a demonstration with the grapefruit. This one, the knife you have to use, very sharp, All right. careful. You hold and then you touch the skin yep. and just chuck the knife inside and squeeze down like that, like a oh, zigzag yeah. way. Oh, and so you're pushing the knife right in? Uh, yeah, right in. You have to go right to the center of the fruit. Because then when I get around that side, it'll cut through. Yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting the rhythm now. Yeah. Hey! hey look congratulations! At that. It's a great pattern. I'm yeah, pretty happy get, with that. Yeah, you're getting there. I'm very happy for you too. <laughs> Joy and John have carved out a real niche for themselves, combining their love of gardening, Thai culture, with beautiful, colourful and edible results. <laughs>